What do you think about happiness? I think happiness is overrated. I needed to choose what I now like to call relentless positivity. I love that phrase, relentlessly positive. Because it is so different than choosing to be happy. You know, when people are happy, they got that rah rah cheerleader, woo, everything's fabulous mindset, and you want to slap them. Because they're rather delusional. Relentlessly positive is not the same as choosing to be happy. I believe firmly that when we couple positivity with a relentless approach, meaning that no matter what, even in those troubling circumstances or challenging circumstances, we choose to see the positive, we choose to take positive action, then we can experience a tremendous growth benefits and it's a way to access the resilience that we already have. It's really about leveraging the way your brain works to maximize your ability to succeed. Choosing to be relentlessly positive, even in difficult situations, is not naive. It's leadership. And relentlessly positive is all about accessing your brain's architecture and using that to your advantage. Have you ever noticed, by the way, if you are courageous enough to say to a pessimist, hey, you're kind of a pessimist, the pessimist is going to come back with, I'm not a pessimist, I'm a realist. Now, I know what some of you are thinking. You're thinking, but wait a minute, Pamela, there are tough circumstances. Situations can really take away our joy. They can deflate us. They can discourage us. Aren't some situations just really hard? Well, of course they are. Some of you are also probably familiar with the research about genetics. You know that you can, to some degree, inherit your predisposition towards optimism or pessimism. And by the way, you inherit it from your mother. So yes, it really is all your mother's fault. But the vast majority of our tendencies to be optimistic or pessimistic lies with our intentional activities. Being positive leads us to accomplish things that we would not be able to accomplish having another mindset. I really love her work and, and I follow her everywhere because I think her work is just excellent. When we have self-mastery over our mindset, when we have self-mastery over our words, the words that we use both internally and externally, and we are the masters of our actions, success is inevitable. The relentlessly positive leader is the kind of leader who can say, yes, we had a challenging circumstance, and here's how we're going to deal with it. Here's what we're going to do as our next steps. No wonder we have such a hard time communicating in the positive to those we lead because we have so much negative yammer, 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 self-talk going on inside. We get up in the morning and we think, oh, we keep getting fatter and fatter. And then we get on the road and it's who gave that idiot a driver's license. And then we get to our workplace and why do I always have to be the one to take the bright green paper out of the printer? It's not fair. By the way, fair is a four-letter F word, and we don't speak that way. If we can use language intentionally, and if we can consciously choose to be relentless in our positive choices, uh, that's where we make an impact. And by giving ourselves some tools to think differently, process information differently, frame things up differently, uh, frame things up in a relentlessly positive fashion, we're able to discover within ourselves depths of flexibility and resilience that we may never have thought possible. Because within me, there is this invincible summer. Within you, there is an invincible summer. That no matter what the circumstances, we can dig deep and we can say to ourselves, this is hard and I can do it. You need to dig deep right now and choose that invincible summer part of yourself. Choose to be relentlessly positive. We've all met somebody who is relentless in their negativity. You know, they always find the bad or the wrong or the thing that doesn't work. But a relentlessly positive person does the exact opposite. They can look at something and they can be realistic and say, oh, you know, that's hard and yet we're going to get a good outcome. So when we choose to be relentlessly positive, we're often able to kind of rewire our brains for greater success, both personally and professionally. It allows us to be productive and effective in our leadership roles, even 
in the midst of some of the most challenging and trying circumstances. I'm Pamela Jett and I thank you so very much for your time today.